Welcome, this is Magic Dad 76 bringing you to a whole new mod review showcase. Uh, this one was actually requested uh, from a friend of mine, uh, the King of Awesomish, uh, who also is a YouTuber and his channel will be linked in the description below. It's a little shout out to uh, the, the requesters. And uh, uh, basically, we as you can tell here actually this here is a basically a showcase review center that was designed by my son Magic K. Uh, he did a lot of work he put a lot of work into making this center so a little nod to him uh, I was really proud of the work he did uh, it looks really awesome so I'm not going to complain about it <laughs> at all and uh, the other features that he put in here will be used in later uh, mod reviews. So, we'll get off to it right now. Uh, uh, the mod review that we are doing is more furnaces. So, it adds a total of five new furnaces to the uh, to the game of mine uh, to the game of Minecraft. So we're going to start with the first one. It's the easiest one to do and the cheapest uh, furnace and improves the overall output and speed. Uh, it's the iron furnace. So you take a furnace and encase it in iron ingots and you get the iron furnace. And it burns about 10.6 uh, uh, items per coal. So the second furnace is the gold uh, gold furnace? It's a little bit more pricier because you have to use eight iron ingots and then eight gold ingots. So you take your iron furnace, encase it in gold, and now you've got a gold furnace. It burns 20 items per uh, about 20, if I remember correctly, per uh, coal. And we will test this in a few minutes because we got uh, out there. The third uh, furnace is the diamond furnace, which is awesome. Uh, you take a gold furnace and you put it in eight diamonds. It is very expensive to use or to make, but the output is amazing. You get 40, time, uh, 40 items per coal, and it actually each of these increases the burn time too, or the smelting cooking time, I should say. So. Uh, it takes less time for each of these items. The coal burns just as long, it's just that it's more f uh, efficient on smelting it. The next item is an obsidian furnace. And uh, it is actually eight obsidian and an iron furnace. It's unique in the, me in the way that instead of being as fast as the gold or uh, the uh, diamond, it can smelt two items at the same time at the speed of an iron. So, if you have, let's say, let's say you want to smelt some uh, iron, for example, you got some iron you want to smelt, but you're also uh, running low on food and you have some raw beef or raw pork, you can pop them both in here and cook them at the same time on one piece of coal, if I remember correctly. We'll de once again, we'll check that out after. And finally, the last uh, furnace that's added is a netherrack furnace. This one is uh, very unique in the way... Oh, sorry. It's just uh, netherrack surrounding a furnace. It actually does not require any fuel. You set the nether rack on fire and it will smelt whatever goes in it. But it is an extremely slow process. And, actually, hold on. We got a bunch of uh, iron here. And I was just thinking that we could use, uh, do that example. Uh, we're going to cook us some, I feel like steak, so we're going to have some raw beef. So, th those are the crafting recipes for each of them. Once again, just going to go through them one more time. So, furnace with the eight iron ingots. 
An iron furnace with uh, eight gold ingots. Gold furnace with eight diamond. Iron furnace with eight obsidian. Regular furnace with <coughs> eight nether rack. Okay, and we got all of our stuff. We got food. We got coal or coal and flint and steel because we need to set that other furnace on fire. So, all right. Okay. okay. Now we'll do it. There we are. <laughs> Sorry, that th that is something I once in a while run into a problem with, but it's not his fault. My timing was just off. So. What we're going to do, we're going to stick a stack of iron in each of these. Oh yeah, also you can put two stacks in, but I'm not sure I have, the one thing I found is that it doesn't let one out, it doesn't move it over automatically, which I thought it would, because it looks like it would. I think that might be a future uh, addition to the mod. So, but you can actually have multiple items on each of them. So. You can put two uh, two stacks here, four and seven. And here's the one I was going to show you. Okay, yeah. So we're going to do two at the same time with this one, and here. So let's see here. We got five furnaces that will require coal. One, two. Let's give them each eight. There we are. Five. Five that has eight. Good. And because this one does take the longest, like I said, I think it says it takes 90 seconds to uh, smelt one item. So we're going to, uh, let's make sure before we go ahead. Yeah, we got it in there. And let's set it on. And you see here, it is smelting. It will always be smelting now. So we're going to put the, the eight coal in there. Eight coal. Eight coal. Eight coal. And eight coal. So, if you see it's going up slow, this one's a little bit faster. This one is notably faster, and this one just flying. And right here, both of them are cooking at the same time, so you basically get the, uh, effectively double the output. <coughs> it's similar to this, but like this as well. So, and we have yet to get one from here. <laughs> so. Don't worry, we are not going to sit here and wait for the entire uh, stack to smelt. That would just be ridiculous. So this is a courtyard uh, that uh, Magic K built, which I think is really awesome. It's an open air courtyard. Uh, and it has lots of purposes. Uh, it's like a test run courtyard. So we'll take a look on this. And look at this, 38 and we're still only on one piece of coal. 39, 40, and we just moved to our second piece of coal. 20, and we just and this one just moved to its second piece. 10, and it moved to oh 11, and it's on the second piece. Okay, and eight. So, and we got one. Yes, we finally got one. So these are the features of the uh, Better Furnaces mod. We'll uh, actually, obviously, because it's going to take forever to smelt this one, we're not going to worry about uh, seeing that through to completion. But we will the other ones. And done. In ha uh, half the time it took to do <laughs> A quarter of the time. Not even. It just, it was done 64 before this one was done 12. And, well, so we should have 21 before it uh, switches over to the next coal.
Yep. Okay. This one's almost done. So if you see, two coal will do. Uh, a lot, or you get a lot longer, a lot more out of it. So, actually, I'm going to do one more test. Let's see what we get from a single wood plank. Okay, I want them to go away. And we'll grab three, four. We'll do it, we'll test each of these. And I'm not going to use the full stack. Okay, okay, we don't want to do that. We want to get the coal out and put a single wood plank in and see what it will give us for output. One, two, three. It looks like it's going to give us about seven or eight. Seven. So from a single plank, you get seven ingots uh, smelted. This one's pretty much done, so we're going to pull the coal out. We don't want to waste the coal. We need to let the furnace run out. So we'll let the furnace run out. So we only need to test three, really. So this one will probably give us about three ingots maybe four and this one probably about two maybe three so any time now gotta love creative where you can jump on uh, okay okay let's try I can also use this as a bit of a test to test my parkour skills. Okay, and we just set ourselves on fire if we were not in survival. Almost out. Awesome. It's now out. Okay. So a single plank will give us <clears throat> One, two, three, maybe four. It looks like it might, nope, just shy of four. Okay. You know what? We're not going. We're not going to worry about smelting all all the rest of it. Because we already see how it's working. So we're going to finish this test up. Get this la uh, these last thing gets out. And then we're going to test on what an uh, iron plank or a wooden plank will give us on that one. And then the standard furnace, I think it gives us... Actually, here we'll do, we'll do the standard one too. Make sure we cover all bases. I think this will be the last one, and it is. I, yep, okay. So pull those out. One there. Pull those out. Yay, we leveled up. One, I'm saying maybe two potentially three no two two is all it will do okay and this one though i know it only gives us one so basically uh for wood planks double this is double a normal triple a for normal and seven times a normal so that's pretty decent and uh, that takes care of that one too. So, and how? And that's all, in all that time, we've only smelted five ingots from this. It's very inexpensive, but the co the cheapness of it. Uh, I think that the uh, 
building it uh, outweighs the cheap, uh, or, sorry, I'm not sure what I'm even trying to say there, sorry. What I think is the, uh, the cheap factor of uh, burning is not worth uh, the what length of time that you're willing to w uh, that you have to wait to get stuff done if it's an emergency. If it's stuff that you're just going to be sticking around doing no nothing, that's fine. Uh, I find that f even though it is very expensive, this uh, the diamond furnace is well worth it. You get an amazing output, and everything becomes cheaper to use. So. Uh, it, this is the one to always strive for with this mod. This one is just as useful, but uh, that's my opinions. Let me know what you think in, your, in the comments below. And also, if you have any more uh, ideas what you would like to see, uh, leave, a, leave a comment. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, we'll see you next time on uh, the next mod review that I do.